My name is Jim Estes, and today I'm going to talk about a drill that I think is extremely important for the swing plane. So what I want you to do is, and this, by the way, is going to give you an instant understanding of exactly the feeling you want to have in the golf swing. Take a club. You can put a rod, alignment rod, in the grip, or I'm sorry, in the butt end of the golf club. Take the golf club, turn it like you're going to hold it, and then what I want you to do is take that club, put it right against your left hip, so you're holding both clubs here. Now you've got an alignment rod on the ground and a golf ball, and what I want you to do, getting into your good posture position, your weight over the arches, getting feel balanced, the insides of the heels are going to be about the width of your hips. Take a swing back, slow motion, and trace with that alignment rod the target line all the way up. The shaft should be parallel to your target line at the top and then slowly coming down, trace the line and do this in slow motion. Right into the impact position. So this is an Great feedback tool, visual feedback tool for learning the proper swing plane. Go right to your impact position. I encourage you to do this drill in slow motion. And if you have five minutes a day, if you do this drill every day, I guarantee you're going to improve your golf swing. So again, I think you'll find this to be extremely helpful. JimEstisGolf.com if you have any questions. I want you to take the club away, connect your left upper arm to your chest, turn your core, and let your hands follow the rotation of your trunk because your hands are taking the club out. Could that be the donut drill too much? I'm like thinking could be. I had could to get be. out. I got to get whatever you call it out in front of that tubing yep. and come in. Yep. But we're going to fix it. I want your hands to swing. In, in close to your body. Keep your hands in. No? Keep your hands in, and then on the downswing. Well, first of all, the backswing's way off. Your hands are a little bit too high. For you to function as a golfer, your hands have to be low, and your line of force will be shallow. And then you can put maximum torque on the shaft by twisting the handle to get a draw, but right there the club's too steep. Your hands are too high there. Your left arm should be swung more in and across your chest on the backswing to get your hands deeper behind you so that you can come down from the inside and release the club. Here you're coming over the top a little steep. So we want to get your hand, Steve, more like this at the top. I'm more of a backswing produces a downswing teacher. So there his left arm is swung more across his chest. And your left arm is swung up. So you're taking the club outside and you're coming down on the same plane you go back. That's exactly where the club head is there. That's exactly where it comes down. Just exactly where it comes down. So all we got to do is get your hands and swing a little more to the inside and you're good. Hands have got to swing more along your toe line. They need to swing more up the shaft plane just like this club head's going to trace the shaft plane more 